What's going on guys? And for the win here, we are back with our franchise mode as the Montreal Canadiens. And unfortunately, yes, none of our picks moved up, but damn it. Look at Minnesota jumping from 10 to 3. LA from 8 to 1. Oh, and we're sitting there at 12 and 15 right on the dot. So no such luck getting any uh, any uh, jumps up in the lottery this time. But uh, that's just the way it goes. So nothing really going to be going on with those uh, top, top picks. But uh, we should have a bit of room to move up if we so need be. But like I said, this is a very deep draft. And we should be able to move up to get a couple things that we need. Obviously not going to move up too much, too crazy far or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. All right. Anyway. So continuing on here. I don't need to view the draft class there. Uh, we got retirements coming up. There we are. Let's see. Again, usually in the first couple of years, not many major, major retirements. Yeah, now Zetterberg. Well, Bacchus is kind of a bigger one. Bacchus, Kessler, uh, Derek Roy, Phaneuf. All right, so we're starting to see a few names. Ryan Callahan, Eves. Yeah, but still not crazy. Clarkson. All right, and that's pretty much it. Goalie-wise, uh, yeah, still really no one. Okay. Now, uh, we did lose another coach from Laval. Montreal, however, we are good. So no coaching retirements from our main ones. Kessler, Nielsen, and Seidenberg becoming scouts. All right. And now we got the pre-draft interviews. We'll see what's going on here. So we got the 12 and the 15. Around 12, there's a high top six center. Looks like we're into a lot of the high top six area. There's still the medium there. And you know, there's, you know, ooh, actually, this is actually really good. Unfortunately, they're both lefties. But, NHL ready, Lambos, three year. We can, we can get two elite defensemen, one of them NHL ready. Yeah, and we don't really have to move up. You know what? This is kind of perfect. I don't even want to move up now. Yeah, I mean, sure, don't get Mr. Right-Handed Brant Clark, which would be incredible, but there's no way LA is going to want to give up that pick. We can get two solid elite lefty defense and one NHL ready, the other one a few years down the road, but, I mean, we needed defensive prospects, and right here we're getting two of them. So already that's really good. There, then also later on in the first, there's that play um, elite guy. I don't know. Maybe there, there might be room to move up for him, depending on what is looking like in the second. Starting goaltender. Uh, gem top six. Oh, there's actually no real low elites appearing there, so I might be willing to trade both my seconds up. Yeah. I mean, quality over quantity for the most part. Oh, there is an elite goaltender here going somewhere in the third. But that's very, very early in the third, and I don't think we have that early of a pick, so that's going to be a bit difficult. Anyway, for interviews here, I'm just going to pin pin the guys we want to check out, obviously. I might, might interview this guy with the high potential. He probably won't be high elite, but you never know. What's his ETA? Eh, you never know. I mean, you can't see high, high elites in there. But who do I want to interview here? How about the 12... Uh, we don't have this guy's all we're missing is personality and play style I'm going to pick him probably regardless so I don't really need that Ortio would be pretty good to scout except yeah we're only missing a few things that's the only problem with getting those guys super scouted so you kind of don't even need to interview anyone but I'll go down to some of the low low type guys Okay, this one's perfect because we don't know ETA personality or player style. So this one is an interview. Yep. So ETA, personality, and play style. So let's do personality first. What do you like, huh? What do you like, Dimitri? All right, constant professional gets along with everyone. That's good. And now ETA and play style. What's his readiness? A couple. Ooh, so it actually looks like he is. That I think that's a two-year ETA because I don't really recognize that. You usually see three-year, four-year 
if they say I'm a few years off. This looks like, yeah, two-year ETA. That's really good, yeah. Oh, it says right the fuck there. Cool. Did that change or has that always been a thing? Am I, I just... Okay, and I also just might be blind. So, yeah, he is indeed a power forward. All right, well, there we have it. Yeah, two-year ETA. I like that. So, pretty solid right there. That's one interview. Obviously, we could grab this guy, hot top six, but I, th I still really think we need the uh, defenseman. One-year ETA is great, and we're pretty good on centers when it comes down to it, you know? So, probably let him go elsewhere. Yeah. Lindgren won't be able to. Let me go back to uh, Central Scouting Ranking and see. I mean, I could get 100% scouting on the guys, you know, that I'm looking at. Like Lambos, we, we know everything about him. Neiman in, I'm missing a couple things. Might as well. I mean, might as well see what kind of player type he is for sure in his personality. Might as well. What else am I going to do? So let's see. All right, what kind of person are you? Constant professional. Perfect. You like that. And what kind of player are you? Stay at home or two way? Yep, stay at home. Okay. And, uh,. Let's see what he thinks his strength is. Why not? What's your greatest strength, Tuomo? All right, cool. That didn't really tell me much. I'm a stay-at-home defenseman. What's your greatest strength? Defense. Cool, man. Cool. I guess it makes sense, but hoping for something a little more sexy there. But all right, I'll take that. Okay, and last one. I kind of feel like I want to interview one of those goalies. So maybe someone, maybe that high elite per possible even though it's obviously not guaranteed. I kind of want to see if I get any more scouting, you know, see if I get lucky with that. Orchiel, doesn't really matter anything else. We already know his ETA. Goalies are pretty different. I kind of want to see if I might be able to get a little bit more information on this guy. And then that'll really dictate whether I want to move around. But uh, let's interview him. So probably play style, personality, and then strength or something like that. So let's see. All right. How's his personality? Win at all costs. I like that. Passionate goaltender. Passion of the goaltender. Let's go. Is he going to be hybrid confirmed? Yep. Hybrid. Okay. And I'll ask him what he thinks his strength is. And let's hope that we can get a tiny bit more scouting information, athletic ability, so he's fast and good athletic goalie, okay? Let's see. Come on, give me a bit more scouting info. Nope, zero. And you become a gem? Nope, didn't become a gem or anything. All right, so we didn't really get much help there. So probably want to go with the guarantee. Five-year ETA on him. Any goalie here with, like, better ETA than that that we know about? Wallstead will be. Yeah, he's... Probably not. Mm, four year on that guy, but he's also 19. Yep, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the Hail Mary's that one. Hope for the high elite, but he's still got five year ETA, so. Who knows, man? Who knows? Anyway, there's your uh, there's your interviews. Gonna pin some guys right there. I might do that actually before the draft, cause I kind of. Well, yeah, I should actually do that. There's a few guys that I didn't want to pin, so I don't miss them. Give me a sec, sorry. Uh, so it's not really much from here. We didn't have much in the way of steals, so this won't take long. So yeah, I'm just gonna pin them. And then I'll pin him just in case. Like I said, we might want to shift up. There's a. All right, let me just go back to, there's a low elite that I want to pin. And then Orsio we want to pin. Anyone else that was going like out of order? No, I don't think so. Or uh, above their draft ranking, I don't think so. And then obviously Sergey. And that should be it for pins, unless there's a few close. This guy's a gem. Winger 2A forward. I really like that. So I'll pin him, but like I said, I will probably be moving away from those picks, so. 
Yeah, and everything else is not really... Oh, hello. Couldn't those guys. All lefties. God damn it. <laughs> Where are the righty prospects at? Lindgren. It would be great to get, but we don't have a pick around there. Oh, well. Need some uh, righty defensemen, but what can you do? All right, that will be our pins. Now, before we get into the draft here, check out the awards. The New Jersey Devils are your cup champions, so don't worry, New Jersey. You're going to suck this year, but next year, you're a win of the cup. So says EA Simulation, which is, we know, the most accurate simulation. Toronto wins this year, and then New Jersey will win next year. <laughs> uh, presidents went to Tampa. Uh, it was Edmonton and New Jersey. The battle of the first overall picks in the Stanley Cup. Good for you guys. If only it was that simple. Art Ross goes to Sagan. Hart also to Sagan. Norris went to Hedman. Yeah. Oh, it did with that crazy plus minus. Yeah, game loves plus minus. All right, Lady Bing to Sagan. Zadina with the Calder. Blackwood with the Conn Smythe. Um, Bishop with the Vesna Vasilevsky with the William M. Jennings. Bill Masterton to Morrissey. Jack Adams to Chicago's coach. Selkie up three years running for Cope. Uh, never mind. Uh, O'Reilly, sorry. Looked at Kopitar's name. <laughs> Ted Lindsay to Sagan. Maurice Richard Ovechkin four years in a row now. But yeah, one, two, three, four trophies for uh, Sagan. Five total for Dallas. And there we have it. All right. And Domi's a 90 overall. So that's good. That is confirmed because I do have the draft settings on, which means no fog of war. Which means it is time for the draft here. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. This uh, 2021 draft is about to get underway. I'm just in my head making sure I don't have to do anything else. I'm pretty sure I don't. So here we are. No one wants to give up their top five picks. I don't blame them. No one even. Eh, one guy. One team in the top ten. So, yeah, if we wanted to shift up slightly for something, there's plenty of room to do that here. Which I might do to make sure I get that guy projected to go at 16, but it might not be necessary. Because we do have the pick before it. But you never know. Maybe we should do it to be completely safe. And then all these picks, obviously, back here, people want to give up. So we could, like I said, get uh, get that guy. Although, eh, we, can go, we can target Florida's. If we wanted to trade a couple seconds for uh, that one one guy, Ho, or whatever. If we wanted to target him, which we might do. Yes, he's another center, but, as I, you know, centers can always be used as wingers. It is another playmaker, which is a bit... Mm, but he is a gem. Yeah, just a really, really good playmaker by the looks of it. Yeah. Obviously, goal scorers are a higher priority, but there's nothing in the cards right now for us. But yeah, we're definitely going to get Neiman in with our 12th pick, and definitely going to get Lambos with either our 15th or maybe trade that up a bit. There's plenty of good stuff for people to grab, though. Yeah, I'm wondering why this guy's so far back. I'm kind of nervous that'll miss out on him. Like he'll even go ahead of uh, ahead of our picks, but that's the risk we're gonna take. If he does, well, we could still do some other things. But one year ETA on this guy. Thinking he might be a top six though. Although there is some other. Yeah, I don't know. Well, this ETA is looking like a top six. Although, this guy's NHL freaking ready, so... I don't know, man. Yeah! Anyway, well, we gotta hope for the best here, essentially. I might shift up a tiny bit, but it's gonna cost some assets. We'll have to see what happens. First overall pick, who are they gonna grab? The defenseman or the... F or the s yep, they went for Brant Clark, 79 overall offensive defenseman. Ottawa will select... Uh, Ratu, 78 overall, two-way forward, so two very good picks, and the top five will continue to be very strong. Third overall, they get, uh, Hornfist, a defenseman, 77 overall, and Buffalo snags the sniper at 76, and Vegas gets, uh, 80 overall, two-way forward. Okay, let's actually see how they're, I know how this guy's built, but... I actually tried to build them kind of similarly to how EA builds them. I don't know if I achieved that. 
But oh god, well definitely not for Ratu. That's he's so poorly built. Look how poorly built he is, man. Really, he's got 98 shot power and 72 accuracies. I don't know about that one, EA. I I should have. I didn't expect him to be built that poorly. Sorry, I would have probably altered him a bit. Uh, Horn fist. Yeah, see, they usually have a bit hard. I don't know. I think I build him better. <laughs> I mean, defensive. This guy. Well, he's a two-way guy. Does make sense. His uh, shot power is a bit higher. How's this guy? Yeah, he makes. That's good. Yeah, he's built very evenly. All right. Anyway, um. Yeah, let's see how the rest of this goes. We'll kind of sim up a bit. Roy went. I know. There's two of them. Sorry. There's going to be two, I think. Someone pointed that out on the last one because I created this one. Yep, that's definitely something I created. You can tell because the accuracy is higher than the power. EA never does that. And then there's another one who's only a top six. So at least it's not like they're two elites and stuff like that we don't have to worry about. But yeah, EA did add him in and now. And well, we got to have it. We're going to have a duplicate. It has to happen. At least I'll know that for my next series. So now 10th overall. Top six. All right. Anyway, so now the choice comes. Do we want to shift up to grab New York's pick? Do we want to shift up one? Or do we trust that we will be able to grab Neiman in here? We should. There's three highs. Computers love the highs. Or wait. Yeah, this is definitely an EA created thing. Yeah, he has to be high top six. Yeah, sorry. Okay, he's a high top six, so yikes. <laughs> he is kind of... In the same location. He is still probing in it. Well, whatever. You got twins or something. Uh, I hate that. It bugs my OCD because, like, uh, I it's so hard for me to check every single roster for guys that... I checked all the NHL teams. I'm like, oh, making sure I'm not adding any duplicates in. But, of course, missed something in the goddamn CHL. Oh, well. Gonna have to deal with it. Uh, Tuomo Neiman in. Yeah, I think we should. I mean, there's three highs here. Computers seem to love highs. I don't think we'll miss out on this guy. And obviously, this guy hasn't... Yeah, everything's going in order so far. Let's hope that continues, because I don't really want to trade up and sacrifice more assets. No, okay, good. They went for the high top six center. We're going to go for the medium elite defenseman, who is NHL ready. And why is... I still don't know why he's dropped back, especially at NHL ready. Why is he back here? I really don't know. But good puck mover. It's gonna, it looks like he has shutdown ability. It doesn't have great shot utilization, but who cares, man? Defensive defenseman. I'm loving it. 12 Mo Neiman and get on this team, baby. Oh my god, he's 80 overall. <laughs> uh, steal and a half. What a steal. I didn't think he'd be that high. I'm thinking like 78. Okay. 12 Mo Neiman in. Crazy. I am super stoked on that one. Yep, I'll take it. I'll take that. Sweet. All right, next up is that 15th. Now, this is another tricky one. Do we want to move up to be safe? Or do we want to risk it and not have to ship away any other assets? Because they're not going to want our 15th, obviously. Does Pittsburgh need defense? Would they move up? Maybe. Hmm, let's see how the next two picks go. Yep, uh, well, one, next one pick. You know what, there's another high in there, isn't there? Wilmer just went, is there, is there another high? Yeah, there is. You know what, they should totally go for the high, although he did get skipped on right here. But there's also this guy in between. They got two choices, one's medium. They should go for the high. I don't think, I don't think they go for the elite right here when there's a high. Usually that's what the AI does. So I'm gonna trust that I know how the AI is gonna react. Oh, they went for the <laughs> they went for the medium. Even worse. All right, there you go. There you go, Pittsburgh. Good pick. So all right, we're gonna grab Lambos here, Carson Lambos, and get ourselves another elite defenseman of the future. Weak passing, but good slap shot, good bounce, good foot speed, three or ETA, similar to Al McKinnis. That's pretty damn good. This has good foot speed, but his skating isn't super strong in this. Oh well. Don't worry about that C-minus defense. It's the face-offs. All right, so let's snag Carson Lambos here. Yet he another elite defenseman. Yeah, 65 overall for him. But still, I don't care. That's a project. We got an NHL-ready one at pick 12. So 
I can't believe that guy was that far back. That's really incredible. I'm super stoked about this draft. I mean, we got a guy who could have gone, well, fifth, but higher than that. I mean, this guy, honestly, he could have gone third overall with the way it's kind of set up. So I'm cool with it. I'm very okay with it. This is a very good first round for us. Now, how much do we want Ho is the question. When it comes to our pins here, he's sitting at 25. We'd have to move up a bit before that. So like the 23, I think Florida had that. There's a gem top six, two-way forward. Coming at 41. Those are always good to, good to have. Doesn't say he's a goal scorer or anything like that, so it's not incredible. If he was a goal scorer, I'd probably be way more inclined to grab him. Uh, Orcho, we definitely want. He's at 95. We want to try to have a pick for that. That's, yeah. These guys are kind of, man, this guy we can get. So, Ho, Orcio. Do we have picks that we can grab? We're going to have to sacrifice one or two of these guys. So, how much do we want another playmaker? Who's going to turn into a winger probably on the right-hand side? That's the question. He's got three-year ETA. He's very, very good. And he's also good with the gem. Like, he's, he's almost can't miss. But let's see if we have the right kind of picks here. I want to make sure I have something to grab that goalie. I don't want to miss out on that goalie. It's always good to have a couple elite goalie prospects. Oh, we'll have them. We'll easily have them. Yep. I, I forgot I had that many threes. I thought I might just have one, and I wasn't sure how far. But yeah, we'll have plenty. So we can easily trade those two twos up to grab a later first. And that's what we should do, I think. May be able to hold on to one of them. Probably I could do a two and two threes, maybe. And maybe hold on to that at 46. But I think that, you know, we miss out on the guy listed at 41. So it really won't matter. Unless we also shifted that one. But that's going to be harder. Because that's higher up. Yeah, it's a lot higher up when people are less inclined to give away their picks at that point. So we'll see what I could trade for him. What What's coming in that third round, by by the way, around that 80 mark? I want to see what's coming around. Maybe, maybe there's some good stuff. I might want to hold on to some of those threes. Do a little bit of research right here. What is around there? Top sixes. Back up. Only can be a fringe starter. There's that high goaltender if I wanted to save a pick to snag him with. I could save the 88 for that or something. Other than that, you'd almost rather hold on to the second because of how deep this draft is looking. I know we're going to get bumped out of the screen in a second. I'm just trying to, my stubbornness is making me try to look. So around 46, unfortunately that drops down to like the top nine area. Righty defenseman, I might snag him. Yes, he could be a top six, but what if he's something better? Left, damn. All righty, well, there's that. <laughs> Hmm. I think we do it. I think we do it. Let's go for that 23. It's there. It's on the block. So what can we move for it? Hold on. Try to hold on to the 46. Maybe try to trade. They don't want any of these, which has been unfortunate. I want to hold on to the 88. Oh, no. We'll need two of them, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't think this is going to be enough to go for that. Not even close. Yeah. Because we still need... I want both the goalies. Might have to be the two seconds here. Or the higher one, which is okay. Damn it. Yeah, as long as we have the 88 and maybe the 84, we can grab both those guys. But I, I can't... 57. Could I really hold on to that? I don't think so. No, I think it's got to be two seconds. I think it's going to have to be. I was hoping I can maybe get away with not doing that, but it's going to be have to be the two seconds. That still might not even be enough. Let's see what they say. Okay, they like it. All right, good. It's fine. I was trying to kind of get as much as I could out of that, but 
wasn't working out for us. That's okay. But we moved up to the 23. Now, this should be able to get us a uh, hoe unless he goes really, really far up. But he shouldn't. He didn't. A few high top nines in there. Time to snag Ho. I like it. Let's snag him. Why the heck not? Three-year ETA. Donovan Ho. 64 overall. Medium elite. Playmaker. Center. But will likely turn him into a winger. Depends. Well, we'll see. We'll see how he grows. See how he's built. See how Domi and Kokanami are doing. Maybe one of those guys moved to wing who aren't super strong on face-offs. You never know. The future can hold a lot. Now, we don't have a second anymore, which is a bit unfortunate. I do want to see how strong that's going to be. Let's sim up to our... Uh, 77th pick. I just want to go back through the second. Bunch of top sixes. Okay, they actually wasn't as deep as I thought it might be. There's another one. Wallstead starter goalie. Yeah, we wouldn't have really gotten anything great. Oh, there was a low elite. Valin. Center two way forward. Pretty solid. That would have been nice to grab. Which overall was he? Ah, 57. Like, we wouldn't, there was no guarantee we can get, we, we wouldn't have got him, actually. Oh, don't fucking tell me. God damn it! <laughs> oh. Don't mind me. Yep. So, alright, at least you guys are learning now. If you add the guys in, make sure to take them out because EA has now added them. Some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. They put him in as a medium elite. I was I kind I was ho kind of hoping that if they did put him in, especially around what the hell he's projected at, that he wouldn't be that. But all right, cool. A few duplicates. All right, anyway. On our pick here, 77th. Now we have a few kind of... Uh, yeah, we don't have to grab him yet. We're going to grab him, maybe the other one. What's this guy like? Shot utilization. Kind of thinking he's a medium in a sea of lows. Maybe he could be like something crazy. Like maybe get lucky with a medium elite winger. Maybe he's a sniper. He's a, he's a left winger with a right-handed shot. He has good shot utilization. Lacks size. That's about it. Might get lucky. I don't think we will, but we might get lucky. I think I want to take that with this pick. It's way back there, but let's let's take a gamble here. Holy shit, I was right. <laughs> oh my, I know he's 19 and all, but that's still awesome. Wow, okay. So, that, that's, that's cool. That's a thing. Wow, all right. Uh, beautiful. That is awesome. That's a pure blind pick steal right there. I was just, everything else around him was low, and he was like 19 with medium, and I'm like, that just seems out of it. Yep, and we got a sniper too, which is huge. We need a sniper. He did every, he literally everything I said he might do, he did. He was like, I could, he could be a sniper with the shot utilization. He might be a medium elite. Beautiful. Thank you. That's a sick pick right there. All right, now we're going to grab the goaltenders and hope we get lucky here. Kravchenko's a fringe starter. All right, well... Yeah, wait, I'm just making sure I have both those picks. I don't want to screw up here. Let's go for the high guy first because he's projected higher. What if we get stu stupid lucky with this guy too? I'm not going to go for him, obviously. That's a complete Hail Mary. Go for the sure thing and then the guy with the high. Because high. I don't know what he's going to be. Maybe high fringe star. Either way, it should be something pretty good here in the third round. As long as he gets the value back, I'm happy with it. Gunnarsson, high fringe star. Okay. So nothing crazy. No high starter. No high elite. But still high fringe star. <gasps> okay. Ooh, Olivaro was an elite. Okay, so, well, in that case, the blind pick would have been better, but I... How do you pass up on the high? We've seen the high goaltendies go. I'm now, I'm, I'm now addicted. I called them goaltendies, by the way. All right. And now we're going to grab Posse Orchio. Yep. Good work ethic. I'm liking him. Another elite goalie to add to our system. What's his overall going to be? 53. So, yeah, technically this guy's better. But, you know, it's still another elite goaltender. And he had way better stats. So, hey. <laughs> it's probably because he cheesed the sim because he's lower overall, huh? 
All right, up to 108 here. Nothing too crazy going to starter. All right, let's check out where we're at. I'm gonna recheck where my pins are at. Okay, well, we can grab this guy. It's yet another lefty, sure, but. I mean, top four, what, what else am I gonna grab here? Is there anything much better? Not really. There's another high goalie, but I don't really want to take another gamble when I could grab. It's another lefty, though. But then again, it's another goalie. All right, let's go for the sure thing, Ernest Dowdy. We'll see if I regret that. Uh, 50 overall, top four. There's another high. There's another high fringe starter, so I don't think I'm missing much here. Let's move up to our next pick here at the 112. Berglund, that's another top four. Pretty good. Oh, my God. Is he 20 or something? 19, yeah. Okay, he's higher overall. Now, well, we could probably get the goalie if I really want. Yep, the goalie's still there, but there's also another top 10. Yet another lefty, though. Uh, value's good. Value's technically better. It's t better than a high fringe starter, but this guy, he's also 19, which is kind of why, yeah, that's kind of like, kind of thinking he might be better if he's 19. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yes, I can get the top four more secure value. But what's life without a little bit of risk? Xavier Heward, please be a high elite. Be a steal for me. Be a mensch. No, I fridge starter. Damn it. <laughs> I should have went with the secure value. But still, I mean, whatever. We still increase the value of that pick. We still got this guy. It's plenty of defensemen. He was, if he was a right, he had to grab him for sure, quite obviously. So 139, I think we're miss out on someone right here. On one of the pins. Maybe not. No, no, no. The low elite, he was further back. He's 150 something, right? Or if I missed out, I missed out. Not a big deal. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, th I thought so. Okay, 160. Do I have another pick and grab him with, or should I just grab him right now? He's projected at 160. Cole Caulfield's on the block. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta grab him now. Okay, let's grab him now. Let's not take any risks. Snag him up. Uh, I'm still, I'm, I'm a little, I'm still, it's on my mind about those duplicates. I did a test draft with the new rosters, and for some reason it didn't click. I mean, I didn't, the Joshua Roy one obviously makes more sense to like how, how the fuck do you miss that because they're both in the first round But yeah, I completely miss Brant Clark As a duplicate anyway, let's grab Dmitry Sergeyev here power forward Might have some goal scoring tendencies, which would be really good for us Two year ETA and he's 19. You can't miss out on this guy Dmitry Sergeyev So 67 overall that's two years. Okay. I was expecting around 70, but all right. That, that's like just on the cusp. I think 66 is like three year. So he's just on the edge at 19. He's still in great position because he'll he's almost 70 when he turns 20. If he's on, he's he turns, you know, if he's 70 overall, he's really, really on track to make the NHL. So really solid pick up here in the fifth round. This has been a strong draft up to 170 now where we're seeing a bunch of uh, not good stuff go. There's, oh, please don't be a righty. Thank God. If he was a righty, I'd be salty. All right. Well, there's another elite, low elite defenseman. Let me check him out. What was his, uh, can I do some pattern? How old are you? 19. Okay. So let's see. Is there a 19 year old defenseman with low who we don't have much of or not really? Nope. Not at all. Okay, so it's kind of looking like a standalone. Hmm. Five year ETA, yeah, that makes sense. 19 year real. You can only be low top six. Or two can 19, 177. I mean, he's looking made up. Let's take a random chance on this guy. Mikhail Artukin. Ah, low top nine. Kind of hoping for another steal in there, but low top nine. It, it's still kind of better than a lot of the other stuff around here, so I'm not too I'm not too upset about that. Last pick of the draft, 205 overall. 
Anything else crazy going here? Oh, low top four, not bad. I'm looking for the elites, though. Did I miss out on anything? Uh, nope, I didn't. Okay, cool. All right, our pick, 205, the last of the draft. This guy can only be as low as a medium top nine, which isn't too bad. I wish I had his ETA 100% scouted. Let's see if there's any more gems left. Probably not, especially as it's so late. Should have checked that earlier, but whatever. Nope, no gems left. Go back to central scouting. Fringe starters guarantee value, but it's not a whole lot. Not as much as it was. Hello. That's another lefty. Want to buy righty defenseman. It's honestly our best chance for a steal, though, that guy. Yep. Best chance for a steal. No. God damn it. <laughs> no. God damn it. Oh, there we go. We're back. Uh, this guy, though, can only be as low as a medium top nine. Another winger. Winger's good. Might have goal scoring, but that's obviously not even close to accurate. Can lack the drive to win, which I'm not a huge fan of. But he could be like a medium. I don't think we're going to find a medium elite at this stage in the draft, though. Uh, it's highly unlikely. So let's go for Delamont here. He's got the highest possibility to be a steal. He is not. He's a top four, but eh, it's not bad. Low top four on the dot. Still some decent value. If that guy's a medium elite out of nowhere, I'm going to hate myself a little bit. That was him, right? No, no, no. He was... Was it Ken? Oh, man. Yeah, I dropped down further. I think it was Kempine and had to be because he wouldn't have gone this far. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, so yeah, he dropped down farther than he could have. So I'm really glad I didn't grab him. I'm just making sure that was indeed him. Yep, looks like it. A few fringe starters. A bunch of fringe starters. And that is it. Anything for Pittsburgh here with a steal? Nothing. Okay, so solid draft right there. Two elite defensemen. An elite playmaker. That was just the first round. <laughs> we got a bunch more cool shit. Elite goaltender. Some top four guys. Yeah. All in all, another strong draft for us. Helps build up our prospect pool. And I'll keep an eye out to see if I can uh, help bust some of those guys. But, you know, the duplicates and, stu and such. But, yeah. So just bear that in mind. I had... Tugi's roster doc has, hadn't been updated for the latest uh, roster thing. So, anyway, I apologize. But it's, again, not going to be that big of a deal. People are going to bust. It's highly unlikely that both of them will turn out to be absolute studs. Well, we'll see. Medium elites. Taken at that station draft, at that overall, well, we've seen plenty of 50 overall elites not pan out. So, let's hope that that happens. The high top six will be a bit more difficult. Anyway. To the resign phase we go. All right, Redenbach, do I want you back as my HL head coach? Decent teaching, but I could do better. We also, our assistant coach retired, so. If I can get higher teaching, I will. And I should look for that. So yeah, let's fire him. And look for some higher teaching. Our NHL coaches are locked in for a bit. Besides Clapperton. I'll have to, uh, he's coming off next year. All right, let's check out scouts. I'm going to, tr again, try to... Oh, look, our USA West scout got better. Good. Let's see, OHL, SHL League. I might, I'll keep the Dell guy and probably the Extra Liga because Europe, but uh, I'll let go of the other ones. Because we, wa we really want to start improving those. So let's get rid of you, you, and you. So, yeah, let's hope that this year the scouting pool holds a lot more for us because the last couple times have not been great. All right. Uh, yes, we have. We have fired him. All right. So I got my phone right next to me, and we're good to go. So... Who needs an extension here? Actually, not too much. Um, Dano. Did you actually jump up to an 83? Is that for real? 
Oh, he just wants a bridge one year. So might as well give it to him. It's three mil for a year. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much on him. That's a bit over. Right there. Been under, I should say. Um, Armia, how are you? Solid defensively. Not incredible, but you're solid. Neiman obviously gets signed. He's NHL ready. Uh, Udon. Not incredible. If he wants a two-way, I'm really inclined to give it. He does. Yep. HL for you. Easy as a ringer. Ouellette, I'm going to say no to because we just signed another defenseman anyway. Lekkanen. Doesn't want... You know what? I'm, I think I'm going to just let him go. I could tender and trade him, though. Maybe get a tiny bit back for him. Let's try that. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm just gonna use him though. He wants too much money. He's not really built well for anything. Not even really as a ringer for AHL. Uh, Benino, we could let go of, and we most likely will. Let's see on the defensive end of things. There's your six. And someone for depth. Maybe Olafson. Olafson might be a depth guy for us. One more year of Alzner's terrible contract. Hopefully we get a jump from uh, Juleson here. That'd be really good for us. Or Flurry. Yeah, either one. But yeah, we have actually three righties, three lefties here, so that's pretty good. At least for now. Um, Riley doesn't want to come back. I can't say I blame him. I wasn't really using him anymore. He is listed as depth, though. Unfortunate. He would actually really fit in. Eh, he's not super strong built defensively-wise, so we'll let him go. I want to get Fullen back. Perfect. Um, time to see how sign Fairbrother here. Leskin in. Eh. All right. Well, what are we looking at for AHL? Romanov. This dude. That's three. Oh, Sherratt dropped down. Well, we pr could probably use him AHL. Sherratt, Fullen. Kulak, even. If we're going to move Olofsson up. So that's six. Alzner for seven. So we have enough defensemen. We don't need that guy anymore. So we'll release Leskin in. Although, with how injuries went, <laughs> you never know. All right, Craig Anderson still doesn't want an extension. I kind of wanted to snag him back. Carey Price. Ugh. Please stop declining. <laughs> Lindgren, 79 overall. Shesterkin, 78. You know what? One of these guys is going to be ready for backup. Maybe Shesterkin. Both of them may might be. Anyway, we'll let go of Anderson. I'll sign both Lindgren and Shesterkin. Love to get him for two years if I could. Yeah, let's try to get him for two years. Take him up to his 27. Don't need to sign anyone yet, but we, if we're, we're going to snag a goal, it's only going to be for... Uh... Sokolov is almost up to 60 now, He and he should get another jump uh, after free agency and stuff. So if he's in his low, mid-60s, that'll be really good. Yeah, and he'll turn 20 at some point next year. As long as he keeps growing, that's, that's what we need out of him. He needs to keep growing. All right. Let's advance a day here, clean some of this stuff up. All right, Dano doesn't like the dollar value. We got Folin, we got Shesterkin, we got Houdon, got Lindgren. Yep. All right, everything else looking good. So Dano, we got cash for him, so let's, let's, let's give him what he wants. It's only a one-year deal. It's no, no skin off my back. I'm still deciding on our on Armia. Muratsov, 83 guarantee. Now he just needs no, another bit of growth, and he's ready for top six. So there's your top six. Dano starts the one, two, three, top nine. Where is Suzuki? Ugh. 
Hopefully that's morale. He was pretty demoralized, so let's hope that's morale. He might also be stat minuses, so. But he's still listed with that overall as third line, so it looks like some morale. That's good for us. He's not, yeah, not a super strong centerman, so he's looking like a winger. Anyway, so him. Who else was going to have? Paling, that's part of your fourth line. Looks like we'll need to sign some guys unless we want to re-sign Benino. He's not super strong, though, so no. I mean, could use him as depth, though. Cousins, Playmaker, I don't need him for depth. Could be AHL. McCarron's stick in AHL. I like Evans. You could Ah, oh, he's ready. It says he's ready for fourth line. So maybe we could use Evans for fourth line. We'll see. Let's give him under contract. Peck I'm holding on to for AHL. Don't want to hold on to Cousins or Benino for AHL. Cousins, yes. Benino, no. Alright, so let's grab Cousins back. I will release some other guys, but they can be further down. Don't need... Well, Wheel was depth for us, but we can get a better depth, guys. So let's get rid of Wheel. So Caulfield's still... Oh, good. He's at 75 now. He's making his way up. He's making his way up. We'll have to sign Lundell next year. I'll sign a couple of these guys. Sure. They're still growing. I'm not saying that they'll make it, but they have slight potential to become fourth liners or depth. Oh, wait, Verbeek was a freaking play. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. I hung, hung on to them. Uh, uh. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five, six. Oh, man. I'm going to get Armia back as well. Nope, not for that, though. Let's do that. Especially if I decide to play him in AHL or something, which I might do. Um, I'll get Veroni back because we need some AHLers at this point. Nope, one year. And... Neither of those guys are great, obviously. Hmm. Let's see who would work better in the the bottom. Well, I can get them both to one-year deals, honestly, and it won't be any. If we scratch them, we scratch them. It's not a big deal. Let me just grab them both back, because by my count, we didn't really have that many forwards. And I'd rather not have to stress about that. Let's advance a day again. See if Dan O signs for that cash. That's a scout. Another scout. We got Cousins. No, Dano's still rejected. Huh. Everyone else accepted. Why is Dano rejecting? We got 9 mil. I don't want to pay him like 4 or anything. I might let him go and look for something else. Because, I mean, we got your top 6 right there. If we get a better center... Byron Sheary, I mean, we might get some better production out of that third line. You don't know, maybe Suzuki's ready to hop up. I would like Dano just, yeah, I don't know. I could probably sign him for less in free agency anyway, so I'm going to release him. And I can get him back for less if I want to. All right, I think that's it. Let me just double check here. But I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do. Yep, tendered. And we're good. We need a goalie for AHL just for a year. And maybe a depth. No, I think we have, we're good for depth defense. Yeah, we could either use Olofsson or Kula, any of these guys, really. Maybe a depth forward to be safe. Or a third line center. So, yeah, we'll need that. But we'll have plenty of cash. And, I mean, maybe instead of 
I don't know. You never know. We might be able to find like a upper, a better winger as well. Maybe that should be on the lookout, or we should be on the lookout for that. Although third line center is still kind of something that we could use. I'm just seeing if any of these guys could take face-offs reliably. Not really. All right. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what the free agency has, basically. But uh, definitely should get some kind of a third-line center there. Again, we could bury some of these guys if we really, really need to and make some room. We'll see. We'll see what free agency has. Speaking of which, let's get up there. And take a gander at what the pool has for us, and we'll really kind of decide what we're doing there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That always pops up. And I always think it's like trying to tell me something. I'm like, oh, what I do wrong? Am I forgetting? No, nope, that literally pops up every year. I used to think it was telling me I didn't have enough contracts or something. I'm like, what? I'm fine. Get out of here. I got over 40. Alrighty, let's see. What is in free agency this year? Anything nuts? No. Wow, that's terrible. This is horrible. Stepan. That's literally it. We can grab him for third line. I don't know. Wow, this is horrible. Also go for like a veteran for the third line, Miko Koivu. Jeez. Charlie Coyle could also grab for the third line. Wow, almost nothing. I was almost, honestly kind of keeping my hopes up for something like a big winger that we could snag. Chase on looks like he got stat growth. Vanek is still, you know, decent, but nothing, nothing crazy good here. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> A little nuts, man. Not a whole lot. I mean, Miko, Koivu, Coil, like these are all guys you can get for that third line. It would be pretty decent. But man, not a whole hell of a lot here. How about goalies? Yeah, nothing. I mean, well, Bennington, Ranta, Freddie Anderson, holy hell. So some, yeah. Why is he wanting so little money to get stat minuses or what, man? All we really need is an AHL guy. Wow, that's just not a strong free agency. I don't know what else to say to that. It's just not a very strong free agency class. But luckily, all we really need is like that 3C. I was kind of hoping for another, you know, winger or something. We could kind of maneuver some guys around and alter some things. But uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not really going to be able to improve that top six much. Going to have to have guys kind of grow into their roles, which, well, we're still missing a few top winger type guys. I mean, we got Drewin. We're hoping, you know, Morozov gets up there. But Drewin, to me, is more of a second liner, a good second liner, but a second liner nonetheless. So, I don't know. Maybe we, Domi moves back to the wing. That all depends on Lundell. Is he going to develop into a nice 2C as a two-way forward? And Colt Konami can be that, you know, 1C? It, it depends. We're kind of still, we're figuring it out here. We're figuring out the identity here. We're figuring out who's jumping up and taking firm roles onto this team. So, let me know what you guys thought about the draft. What you think of that odd free agency class. What we should do here with signings. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one.